diamonds have been a constant source of fascination over the centuries. This precious mineral never fails to attract. It has to be their shine and just the way they capture your eyes. No matter if it's daylight or nighttime, they always have this specific glitter that captures your eyes. It has to be that. Yeah. Diamond mining is one of the mainstays of Botswana's economy. The diamond industry makes up a third of the country's gross domestic product and in contrast to other African nations, ordinary Botswanans are profiting from the trade in the natural resource. 40 minutes drive from the capital Gaborone is Bamaleta Lutheran Hospital in the town of Romotswa. It was founded by German missionaries, but today is funded almost entirely by the government. Patients often spend the whole day waiting for treatment, but at least they can expect to be seen by a doctor. Botswana subsidizes its health service with money earned from diamonds. Public health is a major issue in a country that has the second highest rate of HIV infection in the world. At least 24% of the population are estimated to be HIV positive. The first case of HIV infection in Botswana was discovered in 1985. AIDS is still a taboo subject and many people suffering from the illness are social outcasts. But despite assistance provided by the state, the death rate is shockingly high. The burial uh, time is usually only, only over the weekend. They don't allow burials during the week. So you, during weekends you'll find the whole village will be packed with people burying. There are so many deaths. But the official line began to change a few years ago as the HIV infection rate exploded. Today, health education is of major importance, and thanks to diamonds, drugs for treating AIDS are available free of charge. In Botswana, we have a very big number of women who are single mothers, who are actually, they are the best patients we have. They come here, and when they see the drugs are working, they try to even to educate others in the community to come and seek help. Since independence in 1966, Botswana has been a relatively stable country. There was no war of independence and elections have been free and open. It's regarded as a model country for the rest of the continent. Its politics have been dominated almost exclusively by the Botswana Democratic Party. That's a source of criticism for many academics. Many scholars don't regard that as, a, as a, the right kind of democracy. You must have parties alternating in, in, in ruling the country. We, we haven't experienced that. So, in a, in a sense, it's, it's a worry. Most of the people in this district, 100 kilometers from the capital, are farmers, just like the Matiba family. Their sons are helping out on the farm. I like being a farmer because it's nice and uh, it's very good. It's very good for you to feed the country with food. The family owns a herd of about 200 cattle. Along with other farmers, the Matibas are receiving support from the government, which is trying to diversify the country's economy. Money earned from the trade in diamonds is being spent here, in the form of credit for young farmers or discounts on seeds. Help is also provided in other ways. Veterinaries, they do some injections for farmers freely. And uh, agriculturalists, they help farmers during farming time, during plowing time and planting uh, with some skills like uh, teaching them how to use the machines. This is the region of Kanye on the edge of the Kalahari Desert. Diamonds were first discovered here 40 years ago. Kanye is the biggest diamond mine in Botswana. It's also a restricted area. Deposits are expected to last until about 2020, and thanks to diamonds, Botswana has become one of the richest countries in Africa. The pride doesn't come from the endowment part. It comes from how we've managed to, to actually effectively use these things to, to actually improve the lives of what the, the nation of Botswana. That improvement is most evident in the capital, where jobs have been created and wealth produced too. There's also a well-off middle class leading a comfortable lifestyle. 
with enough money to afford diamonds mined in Botswana. We're up to um, 0.58.